and I'll be happy to uh, to do that for you when I have some time. So I'm just going to copy this. This is the actual create banner function here, and I think if I remember how to sort of do this one. Oh, okay, so. We want to create this at position zero in the X and then the Y, we want to get the, oh, if I can remember how to do this, I'm going to have to test this screen dot width, uh, minus the size of the ad banner, which is 320 times the density. Ugh. I've had, <laughs> I've had kind of like trouble with this before a little bit. Um, but uh, I'm just going to move the ads down just a little bit so there's a, there's a tiny gap from the top of the screen. And all right, so what I'm doing here is I'm setting the, we're saying that we want the we want the ad to be a 320 by 50 banner, which is the banners that you've seen appearing in the game just before, which is the thin banner at the top. Uh, we're saying we want to get screen width, which could be like say a thousand or whatever it is. And then we want to move it to the left by 320 pixels, which is the size of the uh, the Admob ban banner, times the density. The density depends on the screen resolution. This could be a value of 1 or 1.5 or 2. And what that does is that scales up the size of the, uh, of the banner, depending on the resolution. So if we've got a, a device with a high resolution, then what this density will be times 2. All right? So the ad that will actually appear will be... 640 wide, not 320. So if it's 640 wide, um, I, I'll just give you an example here. So if it's 640 wide, uh, we want to make that 640 move further in because now it's wider. Okay, so it will move into the. This will be the position here, and then we're saying move screen dot width, uh, which is this position at the very top right, minus the the width of the banner, which is this. This, uh, which would be 640 or 320, and move it into the center there so that the ads appear on the top right. Um, you know, I, I, that's, I hope that was kind of clear. It's not, I, you know, I need, to, I need to do a separate tutorial on the, on the ad stuff, I think. This took a little bit of getting used to for me. Uh, I, I've spent hours pulling my hair out over, over ads, all part of the pleasure and, you know, pain of being a, a developer, I guess. But you know, eventually you get there. So we'll get, you need to test this out as well. You know, always test out the ads on on one or two devices, or as many devices as you can. So I'm going to file, file, save the scene, save the project, Command and B to build, and I'm going to let this build. And hopefully these ads will appear in the right place. As you can see right now, they're appearing at zero zero. Uh, the the slash usually goes this direction, so the ads never get tapped or rarely get tapped. So. You know, you do want to get some taps, guys, just to be open and honest. Like, you know, you don't want to uh, build a free game and then not have any taps on, on the ads. Uh, you want to get some taps on those ads because then you're actually, you know, making revenue. So it, it's always a debate. I, I, I think I mentioned this in one of my videos before. I said, um, you know, people play, developers have said to me, you know, we shouldn't put ads in the game because it creates a bad user experience. It really depends. It depends on the ads. I mean, I did a video just a couple of days ago on, on the new Gangnam Massacre, Gangnam Style Massacre game, which is we got ranked number three overall in the US, which is a huge position to be in. That's massive, and it's probably had several million downloads already. Um, so, and and those ads were in a, in a in a you know we're right in the middle, and they had this sort of like cross on, on the ads as well and that cross had nothing to do with the ads if you tapped on the cross it just had nothing it didn't do anything it opened the ad so so the cross was fake you know and I wouldn't do that myself personally I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do that in a game but the game has been downloaded a huge amount of times I don't think it spoiled the experience to be honest you know I mean, it's a free game and users are aware of that now they know that if they're downloading a free game there's going to be ads you know it's not going to distract the, the the experience that much, as long as you're not putting like the ad right over, say in the middle of the game, it splats up and then you're tapping on it all the time. Yeah, that's bad. And um, we did that one time by accident. Actually, I'd uploaded a game and I didn't check it on a high resolution device, and so the ads were like huge. Uh, it really covered like half the screen, and then uh, you know it, it generated a lot of one stars and complaints. Uh, but that was an accident. I, I, I didn't actually intend to do that. Um, 
but you know, always put ads in the game, guys. I think I think you know, don't don't uh, you know, don't think that oh, users will will go crazy because there's some ads in the game for a free game. I think users are much more used to that now, and they get it's free entertainment, so you know, they get used to it. All right, so this hasn't worked, <laughs> as you can see, we've got down here, and I think I probably tapped in something wrong there. So let me just turn the music off for a second. Um, okay, so I'm just going to see how I might have gone wrong here. Ah, okay. Sorry, I'm just mulling this over in my mind as to why this has happened. Uh, uh. Oh, of course. Stupid. I uh, I know why. It's because this this is X. This is the the left right position. And this is why the down position, they're, they're the wrong way around. Okay, so um, this is why we always test, of course. So I just need to take this, put it, put that one there, and then this is the Y position because we're working with a, a landscape game. Control S to save, go back into Unity. All right, so that should be, that hopefully will be fixed now. So I'm just going to quickly test this while we're at it. Uh, and for some reason, this, this uh, killer shooting sniper X icon has disappeared. And I think that's because they're on the same Z level. They've gone exactly in the same level there. So it, uh, it's basically sorting the board in front of the, the killer shooting sniper X icon. So it should be a quick fix. It's fly slice, main game, sorry, main menu. And down here, if I click on this the wooden board, if I rotate around, up there. There you go, you can see it's right on the same level there. Uh, and that's why it's getting sorted wrong. Even though in the scene, in this Unity scene, it's getting sorted a little bit differently. When it's in the game, things get rendered slightly differently in terms of when they are actually put on the screen. So we need to just move that back and that should solve that problem. So if you ever see things disappear and check that it's not on the same Z, uh, exactly on the same Z uh, value. All right. So we check the leaderboards, that's fine. I just want to check this check in here, this button up on the right appears. Uh, hey, check out my score in Super Bug Killer, 714. Think you can beat me. A smiley face and a wink. That's cute. Check in. Um, return to game. All right, we're back in the game now. Check in again. I'm just going to click on this and I'm going to see. Uh, there you go. It says check in complete, which is great. Uh, and if I click on. Oh, crap. I suppose I pressed the wrong one. All right. So this is just pop up. And I want to click on play with friends and just see what happens. There you go. And you can see what's happening. We've got this invite, 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 which is similar to that challenge thing. You just, when you've got a bunch of users, you just want to click like. Uh, you want your friends to, to, to come and play you and, and you can do this or, or players can do this and they'll invite the friends to come. The cool thing is on Facebook as well, you can actually invite friends to come on Facebook and you can actually challenge friends to, to your leaderboard. So if you get 1,000 then you can challenge them. Uh, and I, like we say, we've only just integrated this like as we've been doing the video so I'm, it'll be interesting to, to check that later. So. Uh, if you click on invite, in, on invite on a Facebook page, uh, on the Facebook tab here, it's probably going to ask me to log into Facebook, or there's an error right now, and that's probably because um, uh, my, my proxy VPN is not connecting very well at the moment. So, But not to worry right now, the, the main thing is just that we want to check that that check-in button was working up here. So anyway. So I think those two issues are resolved. I'm going to click File, Save Scene, Save Project. I'm going to check my notes. I don't think we added the leaderboards. That was so that's working pretty well so far. Uh, we've updated the text. We updated the ad position that we need to double check. So and I think we should be good. Save the scene. Save the project. Command and B to build. Or Control and B, and this should build away. But as always, guys, when you're watching these videos, you know I hope that uh, I hope that this has been semi easy to follow along with. Like we said, it's not a tutorial video. This is a developer diary, so it's just me sort of going through and trying to get things integrated, and hopefully you're learning something as you go. 
hopefully as well that you're actually um, able to follow along and, and type in the code and use it yourself as well. That'd be really cool. So I think for intermediate developers, maybe this is this is more appropriate. You know, someone who has a little bit of experience. But this Haze app integration has gone pretty smooth so far. Some of the other SDKs that I've tried to integrate have, have like I say, they've, call, they've caused me to just rip out my hair and call absolutely bananas. Um, but once they once they're working, they're working. You know, um, I think one of the difficult ones was probably the store kit. Store kit the functionality, the store kit SDK for iPhone, you know, so players can purchase, uh, they can purchase things in the game, uh, in-app purchases like weapons or coins or something, uh, and that took some reading and some testing, but that's that's the one that actually generates the most revenue. So, you know, even though it does cause you to like rip your hair out and and you know, sort of age faster than <laughs> it's probably worth it because that that generates, you know, most of the income. So, but you know, if anyone's having trouble with that particular plugin, uh, you know, then let me know. We we use Prime Thirty One for all of our plugins, and it saved a huge amount of time. For uh, because if we didn't use that, then I'd have to go into the uh, native uh, native code. So Objective C inside of Xcode and inside of Java inside in the Android SDK. So let me just 